Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. We often come across acronyms or abbreviations in books of various subjects. We also use them in our conversations, writings and text messages. Why? Because it is easier to remember and use. So today let's use some acronyms to learn about the meaning and features of statistics. Please listen to the following sentence carefully. I'm wearing my new specs to study stats. By remembering these two acronyms, that is STATS and new SPECS, you can learn about the meaning and features of statistics as well as the stages of statistical study very easily. Are you excited to see how? So let's begin. Statistics is defined in both singular and plural sense. We will use the acronym STATS to learn about the meaning of statistics in singular sense. S in STATS stands for Systematic Study of Numerical Data. Numerical data is that information which is measurable. It is always collected in number form. For example, number of students in your class, population of a country, etc. T stands for Techniques to Collect, Organize and Present Data. These statistical techniques we will study in detail in the upcoming tutorials. A stands for analysis of data. T in STAT stands for tools for interpretation of data. After data is presented in a systematic manner, next step is to analyze or examine the data and interpret the result. S stands for specific purpose. Statistical studies are always done for a specific purpose. So, for the definition of statistics, just combine the above points. Statistics is defined as a field of study relating to collection, organization, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical data for a specific purpose. Using the acronym STATS, we can also list down stages of statistical study which are collection of data, organization of data, presentation of data, analysis of data and interpretation of data. Next, for the meaning of statistics in plural sense, just remember the acronym new specs. N in U stands for numerically expressed. Statistics include only numerical or quantitative data. Qualitative factors like honesty, beauty, kindness, etc. are not considered statistics. E in new stands for exactness or accuracy of data. The data collected is through a reasonable standard of accuracy. High degree of accuracy is not insisted in statistical studies. W in new stands for with relation to each other. Statistical data provides information about mutual relationship among elements of the data set. For example, from the data collected on poverty and family size of a group of families, it can be established whether family size has any impact or not on poverty. Now let us see what acronym SPIC stands for. S in SPIC stands for Systematic Collection of Data. P stands for Predetermined Purpose. The purpose of collecting data is decided in advance as it helps in systematic collection and analysis of data. A stands for aggregate or average. Statistics is the aggregate of facts. Single number does not constitute statistics as it cannot be compared by the user. For example, if I say that height of a particular student is 5 feet 6 inches, this is a numerical data, but if I say that the average height of a particular class is 5 feet 4 inches, then it is considered as statistics. Here is an important statement which you must remember. All numerical data cannot be called statistics, but all statistics are called numerical data. C in SPEC stands for comparable to each other. In statistics, data is collected for the purpose of comparison. Therefore, it is essential that the collected data is homogeneous. S means several factors affect the study of numerical data. 
For example, an increase in the price of a good is not the result of a change in one factor, but a result of many factors. So let's combine the above points for the definition of statistics in plural sense. Statistics is defined as an aggregate of facts affected to a large extent by multiplicity of causes, numerically expressed, enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standard of accuracy, collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other. Two acronyms, STATS and NEWSPIC, summarizes all the points that we have studied in today's tutorial. Just remember the sentence, I am wearing my new specs to study STATS. If you find the video useful, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on economics. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.